The uh, Red Devil. Uh, last I left off, I did get the uh, flaps on, got the wings, got the uh, nose cone on. Uh, started a little bit on the uh, cockpit. On the, uh, I got all the stuff in the cockpit on the inside. And I'm working on the outside. Uh, I got the wings in the back. Got the uh, uh, afterburners on. I did glue the uh, afterburners on the inside, if you can see it. They actually should be a little further in, but just to make it simplified, I just glued them on the inside, and then once you get paint, no one will never know. Uh, I have two complaints with the kit. Uh, one, uh, the intake here, it fits, but it doesn't either. I'll have to add a little putty and fix that up, but that's, uh, that ain't too bad, but that needs to fit a little more flush, and the flaps. If you uh, notice the flaps are kind of uneven which is kind of cool because it makes it look like it's uh, in flight uh, it actually has little uh, I want to say actuators that you glue in you can actually make the flaps fold uh, that I think is going to be a problem even when I ship this I didn't want it to uh, break off and the other party would have to repair it so what I did is I just omitted them uh, glued the flaps in place, super glued them, and then uh, reinforced them again with super glue. And so we are good and sturdy and uh, shouldn't have a problem and should make the voyage when I get done to its uh, destination. That's what I got done so far on the Red Devil, and it's taking shape. Uh, the X Wing. Uh, right now, uh, a little putty duty on the nose. I actually started filling in the uh, gap here with uh, Tulip. Uh, once that dries, I'll probably uh, I'll scrape off the excess and then I'll go back in and uh, put some more red putty on and then uh, start sanding it smooth. And if you notice on the wings here, I added some uh, scrap styrene uh, squares basically. And I'll add some strip just to give it a little bit of detail. And then once it gets painted, everything will blend in. And that's to hide the wires and uh, hide any gaps. And Still got some more gaps to do on it, but... Uh, we are getting there. Uh, one thing about the uh, guns here, I had to drill out the in pieces here and tried to get it straight, straight, but I couldn't. On some of them, couldn't get them really, uh, you know, uh, to fit just right. So what I did is I just went ahead and drilled them, uh, glued them on to about the right size where they should be, and then I'm just going to take some red putty and uh, fix them on either side. And it's an easy fix, and that's where I got on the guns and the uh, X-Wing. Uh, the David. I uh, started adding the uh, metal parts. I did fix the floor. If you can see in there, I added uh, styrene uh, strips in there. And now I'm just going in and just uh, cleaning up a few areas. I got to uh, added the uh, little rudder, but I actually cut my uh, styrene fin a little uh, too big, so I'm going to... Have to sand that down, which that's no big deal. I'll just take it to a belt sander and just touch it and be good to go. But that's what I got so far on the David. And it's getting really, really close to being into the painting stage. I just got to put the photo etch on, which is basically the propeller in the back and a few other little pieces. But that's about it. Uh, the Cardassian ship in the 12500 scale. I'm not a real big fan of the... I love spaceships, but I'm not a big fan of the small scale stuff. It's just... I understand why it's made it's for uh, uh, space and uh, money you know it, it is cheaper to buy but but I wanted to uh, build this one because I wanted to do a conversion kit real quick like I wanted to do the uh, Keldon class uh, conversion so expect that in the near future probably within a week or two that's what I got going on the uh, Cardassian uh, the dragon I am actually pretty much done with it I'm uh, going to put a flat coat on it I went in with uh, the airbrush and uh, did some a uh, couple inks there's like a little bit of brown but mostly it's all just black shading I uh, went in with the red wash and uh, fixed his mouth and uh, did his teeth and I'm just going to I'm going to do a flat coat get him all ready and he will be done and the base is basically getting a dirty wash and then I'm going to go back over and dry brush and fix some uh, where some of the paint ain't sticking as you can see on the very bottom but that'll be a uh, different now of course I'll show everyone what it looks like everything assembled uh, the T-Rex T-Rex is pretty much done 
as you can see the shading in him I did go ahead and I tried to make him uh, tried to make him I did put a uh, red wash in his mouth I'm going to shoot a little future a little more future in him and give it more of a gloss coat you know for like spit saliva give him the wet look and I uh, finished off his toenails which I try to make them uh, uh, not bone looking but more uh, just subtle uh, if you can see the triceratops I did a shading on him more like a little camo pattern and did some dry brushing everything's just very very subtle I did the uh, base work I did the grass, which is basically a uh, sap green from Liquitex. I just airbrushed that, just a random grass pattern. And uh, I will put him in the base and everything. I'll put all them in a, uh, put a dull coat on them. And then I want to put some uh, foliage on. And I had to go to the craft store into the, uh, uh, I call it the uh, flower department. And I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to cut these up and actually put on the base and I'll be able to have some uh, prehistoric uh, foliage and and if you're ever in the uh, if you go to like Walmart or craft store you can find these in the uh, flower section they have all different kinds for different dioramas so keep that in mind and that's uh, what I got going on today I'm going to do some little more diorama work I'll put some uh, base coats on the T-Rex and the uh, dragon we will call them done I'll do a uh, little walk around video when I'm done with them Putty work on the uh, X-Wing, a uh, little conversion kit for the uh, Keldon class, working on the David, and working on the uh, Red Devil. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode.